what cofactors do you, are you aware of that you need to make that conversion so that you're actually ending up with melatonin? Well, for example, a conversion of serotonin to n serotonin, which is then converted to melatonin, that enzyme seems to determine the amount of melatonin. A very important cofactor is acetyl-coenzyme A. Well, acetyl-coenzyme A is produced in mitochondria from pyruvate, and cancer cells and many other pathological cells exclude pyruvate from the mitochondria. And we predicted a number of years ago that they would have less melatonin in their mitochondria. And we now know we have a paper in press showing that that's exactly the case. They don't produce as much melatonin as we think they should. And since melatonin is an anti-cancer agent, if these cancer cells are not producing melatonin or enough melatonin, that may also contribute to the fact that they grow out of control. 